<laughs> so today I'm talking about a P2279 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the P2279 code? Well, it's the intake air system leak. And what does this mean? Well, basically all the air going into the engine should be going in through the throttle body. This way the computer can control how much air is going in. It can also measure how much air is going in using different sensors. But when you get a P2279 code, for some reason, all the air isn't going in through the throttle bodies. The computer is seeing that air is coming in to the engine somehow around this, or at least this is what the sensors are telling the computer. And so it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why. So what would be some possible causes of a P2279 code? Well, first thing that could cause this is that there is some kind of leak going on. That, that air is going into the engine somehow around the throttle body. And this will be something like a bad hose, like a bad intake gasket, something along these lines. And there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You can't just go around and look and see if you could spot anything broken or anything that might be leaking. One common method to see if there is any intake air leaks or vacuum leaks going on is what's called the smoke machine method, where basically you feed smoke into the air intake and then wherever the smoke comes out, you know there's a leak and you're able to fix it. And that's a very common method. Another method that some mechanics will use is that they'll get a spray like starter fluid or something like that. They'll start up the engine and then they'll go around and they'll examine the engine and wherever they think that there's a leak at, they'll spray the spray. And if the engine idle changes, then they know they found the leak and they'll look at that spot closer. So there's some different ways to go about seeing if you do have a vacuum leak. But basically, you're just going around looking for any kind of leaks that might be going on in the engine that air is getting in and it's going around the throttle body. So the first thing that could cause this is the intake air leak, also called a vacuum leak. The next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. And basically, there might not be no intake air leak. There might not be no issue going on with the engine. But the computer thinks there is because it's getting bad information. And so it's sending out this P2279 code. And it can vary. It can depend on the vehicle, which sensors are reporting this information to the computer. But this includes things like the mass airflow sensor, the manifold absolute pressure sensor, the intake air temperature sensor, things along these lines. Older vehicles by far usually just have a mass airflow sensor, but again, it can vary. So it's a good idea to get a diagram of all the sensors and where they're located and what's going on with your engine. Because it can vary, sometimes these sensors are all built into one sensor. It's common on some vehicles that the manifold absolute pressure sensor and the mass airflow sensor are built into one. And then on other vehicles, they'll just have a mass airflow sensor and different things like this. So the first thing to do would be to find out which sensors are reporting this information back to the computer, which is going to be like the mass airflow sensor, the manifold absolute pressure sensor, or the intake air temperature sensor. Once you know which sensors the engine's using, you can go through and test those sensors. Usually when there is some kind of problem with the sensor, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you were also getting like a P0101, mass or volume air flow sensor a circuit range performance then i would point you to go look at that mass airflow sensor and this is going to be the same with the manifold absolute pressure sensor if you were to get like a p0108 then you would know to go look at that sensor so always pay attention to what other code you have because they can help point you to what the problem is but the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor and the last thing on the list is the wiring going to the sensors basically keep in mind that there's any kind of problem with the wiring going to those sensors and back to the computer, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So the last thing on the list is going to be the sensor wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2279 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.